Hi guys and welcome to Watches That Rock. So today we'll be reviewing another 2023 addition to the IWC line, the reintroduction of the Engineer 40 automatic. Whilst there are four new models, three of which are available in steel, we'll be concentrating on the titanium version for this episode. If you're familiar with the IWC Engineer collection, you'll know that the original was introduced in 1954 to 1955. However, the look we're most familiar with dates back to the 1970s and was designed by Gerald Genta, one of the most prolific watch designers of all time. Whilst there have been reissues of this watch over the years, the current release takes it back to the 1970s, Genta designed Engineer SL Reference 1832, detailing his vision of a luxury sports watch with an integrated bracelet. The new IWC Engineer Automatic 40 is a modern take on the classic timepiece, providing a more contemporary feel. Whilst it's not a complete replica of the Engineer SL, nor a straightforward interpretation of more recent releases, it's never been so close to the 1970s original. Taking a closer look at the Engineer 40 Titanium, it's clearly ergonomically and aesthetically pleasing. Whilst being almost technically identical to the steel versions with the same dimensions and movement, this watch is engineered using full grade 5 titanium, an alloy which is lightweight, increases strength, and provides heat and corrosion resistance. If you saw the previous episode of Watches That Rock, you'll know that the recent Rolex Yachtmaster 42 titanium release is also constructed of full grade 5 titanium, which Rolex have deemed their RLX titanium. So, this is clearly a preferred material amongst watchmakers because of its unique properties. The new Engineer 40 has more curves compared to past releases, producing a more softer and slender feel. The familiar characteristics of the round crown, which is screwed into the casing ring with five polygonal screws, remains in the same position, making the silhouette easily recognizable. The crown itself features a newly developed crown protection. This crown guard helps to protect the crown against all sorts of impacts and unintentional adjustment. This is an immediately identifiable and is a nice touch as it all fits perfectly as part of the overall classic design, whilst providing an extra level of protection. The dial is another feature that is subtly different to the steel versions. Here it is presented in light gray that contrasts against the naturally darker gray case and bracelet. It features the distinctive grid structure which consists of small lines offset by 90 degrees from each other, this pattern is stamped into a blank before being galvanized to create a pattern reminiscent of a chessboard, another feature carried over from the classic SL design. The hands, markers, and date housing are all black, providing a cool contrast against the lighter and darker hues of the dial and case. They are finished with an inset of luminescent material to allow easy visibility in low light. The dial is finished by sapphire crystal glass, which is convex with anti-reflective coating on both sides and secured against displacement by drop in air pressure. The Engineer 40 is water resistant to 100 meters or 10 bar and also retains an anti-magnetic soft iron inner case around the movement for protection against magnetic fields. This is symbolized by a small lightning bolt graphic on the back of the case to identify the watch as being anti-magnetic. The case itself measures 40 mm wide with approximately 10 mm in height. The new Engineer 40 is powered by the in-house produced IWC caliber 32,111. It is similar to other in-house produced movements that you may be familiar with and operates at a frequency of 28,000 vibrations per hour or 4 Hz. It features an automatic movement with a Paul winding system. This modern automatic movement is hidden behind a solid screwed back and provides 120 hours power reserve when fully wound. It's constructed of 164 components and 21 jewels. The watch is finished with the classic special structure and integrated H-Link bracelet. This is an important feature of the watch as it is synonymous with the original Engineer SL. Like the case, the bracelet is also more rounded, which again is aesthetically and ergonomically pleasing, providing a comfortable watch-wearing experience. The bracelet features a relatively simple, concealed, butterfly-style deployment finished with the IWC logo. 
The Ingenieur Automatic 40 in titanium is priced at approximately $16,600 US, €15,200 or £13,400 sterling. This edition will also be launched as part of the permanent IWC collection. However, due to the extra effort required for production in titanium, we can also expect low numbers, making this a sought-after timepiece. Overall, a great take on a modern-day watch, and one which has been missing from the IWC line for some time. For more information, visit the IWC website at iwc.com or the IWC app, where you can find further information about the watch and more on the wider IWC line. Next time, we'll be looking at the 2023 Rolex Daytona, so make sure you subscribe and tune in. Thanks again for watching and catch you next time on Watches That Rock.